The thing that uh, everybody saw, Brown's four cracks at it on um, the goal line, basically fourth and goal uh, late in the game, and it was a run by Kareem Hunt uh, from about the one that got in. Brian Baldinger uh, breaks down what went on in that touchdown run. Maybe the most exciting game of the year, fourth and one with a chance to win the game. Nick Harris at fullback, Hudson at the tight end. Wills, Batonio, here they come. Kareem Hunt, fourth and one. They got to get the ball past the goal line. Right there, I think the ball's past the goal line. Like it's all or nothing. They just had three straight incompletions. They said, you know what? In this dramatic finish, to win the game, this is what we're going to do. We're playing power football. Look at the base on Nick Harris. Here comes Wyatt Teller and Harris around them. Just plow their way into the end zone. Right here. And Kareem Hunt just keeps that balance going and stretches that ball across the goal line. And just like that, the Browns come up with the photo finish. And again, love the uh, the extra lineman, Harris in the backfield, the tight end, <coughs> Hudson. They're probably going to have to continue to do that to run the football effectively, and I'm glad they don't <laughs> hesitate to do that. Well, this is a team, you know, and you know, there were years where the Browns employed a fullback. They no longer employ a fullback. There has to be goal, you know, things you can do around the goal line. Um, and when you came to that, you know, I know a lot of people were questioning why the Browns didn't run earlier. But if you go back to right before half, if you do remember, PJ Walker, you know, came out of the shotgun, basically dropped back and basically just threw a Hail Mary out of the back of the end zone. So, you know, the Browns in that instance were trying to, you know, basically cook as much clock as they possibly could. Maybe they were also trying to do the same thing there at the end of the game, cook as much clock as they possibly could. Um, but the play itself, you know, and, you know, we pick on Jedrick Wills a lot. I think his block was huge. He absolutely erased his guy out of the picture, which allowed for Hudson, obviously, to get down and get in on a linebacker and obviously, you know, allowed for you know, Harris to basically lead his way through the hole. Uh, you know, Kareem is, you know, always, even when Nick was here, obviously, and healthy and Kareem was here, Kareem was always the better guy around the goal line as opposed to Nick. And Kareem's kind of got that nose for it. Hey, he found the spot. He made sure he got the line. Um, there was no question about whether or not it was a touchdown. There was no question about that. You knew, you know, Kareem had the line and just a big, big sigh of relief because, um, and, you know, like I said, you know, after the San Francisco game and leading up to this Colt game, as great as the high was of beating San Francisco, the low of losing to the Indianapolis Colts would have been a lot, lot worse. So, hey, at the end, you know, four and two now, uh, as everybody starts looking towards Seattle, nobody's going to, you know, in a few weeks here, remember what the ultimate ending was here against the Indianapolis Colts. Everybody's going to remember that the Browns beat the Indianapolis Colts.